Okay. Today is February, uh, sorry, not February, uh, March 10th, uh, 2021. And we're going to be looking at the unit three. We're going to be wrapping it up. This is the idea of relative clauses as well as the idea of using um, participles, present participles, past participles, and a little bit of reading. So this is our seventh class for the month. Uh, or for this level, intermediate three, okay? We're also gonna be looking at, today we're gonna be taking a look at the midterm test and get that ready um, so that we can do it tomorrow. Make sure that everything is ready to go for tomorrow. At this moment, we're just waiting for a few students and we'll get started. Hello, Laura. How are you? Fine. Thank you. And you? Hello. Hello. Uh, wait. I, let me see. I can't hear you too well. Laura, can you hear me? Yes. Please. Loud and clear. I can't hear you. I don't know why. You don't hear me. Let me let me check. Let me change here. Try again, Laura. Huh? Yes, now I can hear you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. So how I, are you? I haven't seen you in many days. I know I have trouble. I uh, I messed up my computer. So mm -hmm. um, it was I was trying to to pass the class to see the class have the class in the tablet, but I couldn't I couldn't do that. So I brought my computer from the office. I hope I can bring it home every day. Yeah, it's a, it, if it's from the office, it's a little difficult sometimes, right? Uh -huh. It's because of the hour. It's really uh, hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. It is easier if, if it's like lunchtime or, or early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm going to try to bring it from the office. 
Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just glad that you're back with us because I hadn't seen you in many days and I thought, oh my God. <laughs> you know? Thank you. Good, good. Uh, hi, Marcia, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm good, thank you. How about you? Doing good, doing good. Just uh, getting ready for our class and making sure that everybody is ready. Uh, yeah, it seems like uh, these last couple of days, people come in a little bit later. Sometimes I don't know if it's for the internet access or sometimes it's just coming from work. It's a little difficult, things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Well, we're going to uh, go ahead and review a little bit from yesterday, which are relative clauses. Um, Marcela, can you explain to Laura what are relative clauses? Um, do you tell her what you remember from yesterday. Right. Uh, relative clauses uh, give more information about something. With person is who, and with things is wish and that for but okay and can you give us some examples Marisa? yeah um, for example leonardo dicaprio is an actor who feels the titanic Excellent, that's right, that's right, with who? Great. Now let's check with Laura. Laura, any questions? Uh -huh. I couldn't do the, those exercises. I don't know if you, if, if I had to put the whole sentence or just the word, because all of my, my answers I, are wrong. Oh, mm, I, I wonder why. Um, Marisa, can you help her? How is the question? <laughs> okay, I couldn't do the exercises about um, who, that, which. Uh, I, I don't know if I had to remake, rewrite the, the whole sentence or just the, the answer. Uh, the the exercise about the clauses, I I don't I don't do yet. I no the ones that you did yesterday, the ones that you did yesterday in class, Marcy. No, teacher, because my internet was oh, bad. Oh, that's right, I, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. You're right. Okay, so this is the question for Laura. So Laura. Um, this is the exercise that you're talking about. These are the ones from 3.10 from yesterday. As you can see in the example here, um, the original sentence has is two sentences. When you write it, you have to write the complete sentence. As an example there, they are using who. Or you write the complete sentence using that. But it's not only putting in the word. You do need to complete the entire sentence so you need to write all of it all of it the two sentences into one now if you have all of them wrong and you wrote the complete sentence then it's you have to double check if you have the capital letter if you have the period if you use the correct uh, apostrophe punctuation things like that um laura do you have your computer there Yes, I have okay. it here. And share, I was like, share your screen and let's see if we can help you. If maybe Jose can help you or Marcela can help you too. We can see what is the problem, why you have them all wrong. Okay, let me see. Okay. Um, this one. <laughs> share. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have them all of them wrong. The and apostrophe. I was like, kind of frustrating, but how do I put the apostrophe? You're using the tilde. You're not using the apostrophe. Ah, uh, 
she is beautiful and uh, only from look uh -huh, only by looking at it you can see that it's different and how do i i'm supposed to put the apostrophe i don't know it's your computer <laughs> it's <laughs> it's different on each well computer. i'm gonna ask tomorrow i'm uh, gonna ask tomorrow in the in the in the office but do me a favor and uh, erase the, uh -huh. erased his the first part yeah the first three letters erase them okay now copy it from the sentence and paste it from the original sentence ah, copy it and okay. paste it let me okay. see it. okay let's see if that works uh-huh uh, oh wait wait i think uh -huh. you have a make sure that at the beginning you don't have a space i think you have a space before the end let me see yes uh -huh. yeah, yeah. wow what an eye <laughs> <laughs> he's okay. a movie di director that made the film hulk and don't forget it's a sentence so you need a period hey. a, a period at the end at the end uh, see, see, see. yes uh -huh. okay uh hit in yeah let's take a look if if that's it then you know what is the mistake okay so tomorrow that fix, was it. <laughs> fix all of them tomorrow there you go that's the mistake thank you mister thank you very much <laughs> you're welcome okay all right okay you see sometimes it's it's just something small and you say i know yes. i know and yeah no i was i was really angry uh -huh. i was like i'm not doing it anymore <laughs> i don't know what it is don't worry thank Some, you you're welcome you sometimes it's just you need someone else to look at the work to to identify the, the mistakes mm -hmm. yes um how do i stop sharing um you should have the button it says at, at the top of your screen it should be where it says uh, uh stop sharing uh, see. yep yes mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay okay there you go perfect thank you you're welcome you're welcome all right anybody else any other questions anything that's not clear from yesterday no no okay perfect um just i just want to make sure Yesterday, were you able to finish the reading exercise 3.11? I'm going to share the screen in case you don't remember which one it is. And that way we know whether we need to make groups or not. Is this one. Did you finish the reading and answering the six questions for it? No. Marcin, no. I did. No. Laura, I did yes. Just, just, uh -huh. Laura, yes. Okay. Uh, Jose, Tanya, what about you guys? No, no, okay, no problem. And Jose? Nothing. Okay, great. All right, so in this case, Laura, um, what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna make partners and we're going to do the exercising. Uh, it's great then because then we can practice the reading. So. I'll share the screen again so that we can get an idea of what we're going to do. And uh, so I'll make it a little bit bigger so that it's clear. Okay, so with our partners, as you can see, there are six paragraphs. So we're going to take turns reading. So as an example, if Laura and Jose are partners, Laura read the first paragraph, Jose number two, Laura number three, Jose number four, Laura five, and like this, okay? After we finish reading the paragraphs, we want to discuss the vocabulary. Do you make do you want to make sure that it's clear? Do you understand all of the words? Are there any words you don't know or you don't know how to pronounce or you're not sure with the meaning, okay? And then after that, then we're gonna go with our partners and we're gonna take a moment and answer the six questions that we have with information from the text, okay? Is that okay? Any questions for anybody? Are you sharing the screen? No, that, I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna make the groups so that way you and your partners can do it, and then 
Well, we'll we'll have the two of you. Remember, uh, there'll be two in each group. Um, we might have more. As you know, sometimes the students come late, and <laughs> and then we end up like yesterday. We ended up having I don't know like ten people show up late, and then we had to make the group like three times. But uh, <laughs> let's we'll try to do it right now. All right, so let's have our, our pairs. Jose, are you having some problems entering or? Okay, there we go. Okay, so I start reading, right? The magic, uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh -huh. Okay. Marce? Okay. First or? Or me? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, there was a time when no one uh, knew the names Harry Potter. Now the adventures of this extraordinary student at Hogwarts. A school of witchcraft and wizardry are read in over uh, 45 languages, including Russian, Thai, and even ancestors Greek. No one can spend the Harry Potter uh, phenomenon, not even GK rolling his. Creator. Creator. J.K. Rowling was born in England in 1965 from a young age. She knew she wanted to be a writer. When she was six, she wrote her first story about a rabbit that gets sick. At school, she used to make up to tell her friends. After gradua graduating uh, from college, she worked at a secretary, but she didn't get up her dream. She spent her lunch or writing the stories, mainly for adults. Then in 1999, uh, on a tri trip to London, she got the idea for the boy Wester. She says he's just upper in the hair hell. She soon created a wall cast of unique character to help Harry Potter. The Forest of Darkness. She could work ten on the story while she was teaching English in Portugal, where she married, where she married, had her first child, and. Uh -huh. I did At the same. Okay. And then uh, number two, 
it says when she, when asked about the, this popularity, she has said, I really wrote it for myself. And I got that, the main idea on paragraph one, where it says no one can explain the Harry Potter phenomenon, not even JK Roll, Rowling. You already, you already did it, right? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. You are already here, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. Um in the in the other page. Here. No, and uh, yeah. <laughs> right. uh, the one she hates going to a school, but always love to read. Uh, Oh, <laughs> two or oh, one. Um, paragraph. She hated going to school, but I was love to read. Yes, and two. She said she wanted to be a right. Uh, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> the second. When asked about this popularity, she had said, I really broke it for myself. Really for myself. When asked about this popularity. Paragraph. Okay, he is appearing ahead. Um, victory. I think. Mm -hmm. Three, there were times when the ship couldn't even afford to eat. Uh -huh. That's true. We finished, mister. We both got 10. Hey, hey, hey excellent. Were there any words that uh, you didn't know or you're not sure of the pronunciation? Uh, when you say cramped, cramped apartment? It's a small apartment. Uh, I could imagine it, but I didn't, I didn't remember that word because I saw the movie of that lady. Uh, okay, okay. But I, I, when I cramped apartment, uh -huh, I didn't know. Yeah, it's a small apartment. Any other words?
Jose, for you? Uh, yes, there are a lot of words, a lot of, a lot of. That's the idea. That's why you have Laura. That's the, that's the purpose. The idea is with you and your partner to discuss it, to try to give examples, use it in a sentence, make sure that it's clear. Or remember, also we can use synonyms or antonyms to help to get the idea. So I can say, for example, Laura, I can say, she says cramped. I can say, oh, the synonym is small or tiny. Mm -hmm. So you and Laura, go ahead, take a look. That's the, that's the, it's not only reading because if you don't understand, then it's not complete. Then it's only, the, the idea is to make sure you get everything. So don't worry, take your time. Make sure that it's, it's clear that, that way you advance, but you know everything that you are learning. So Jose, any any other words? Um, main mainly main lie or mainly. In which paragraph? Paragraph three. Paragraph three. Yeah. Okay. I see the word mainly. Mainly, right? Mainly, yeah. Hey, Laura's going to help you. Let's see. Mainly is that she focused in adult stories. But mainly is, um, see? Yeah. <laughs> mainly for adults is like she, write, she wrote stories for adults. Did you understand? Okay, good. That's right. So mainly that it's it's that was the focus. It's another way of saying principally, or that's the focus. Good, good, Laura. So go ahead, Jose. You ask Laura, and she's gonna help you out little by little, and to make sure that it's clear. Only one. <laughs> Teacher is a mute. No, no, go ahead. It's just, Tanya, what happened to your partner? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I see. Oh, I was thinking, oh, man, you don't have uh, any partners, but um, but you have a lot of mistakes. Only the first one is correct. Yes. <laughs> okay. So maybe it's necessary to read again and, and take your time. One more time to be sure. Uh, Tanya, are there any words you don't know? Mm. I let I I read again. It, it, just to uh, I just check see if there are any words or any phrases or anything you don't you don't know. Hey, there's Marcy mm -hmm. again. All right. If not, don't worry. We're going to go back and do you only know that you have to <laughs> practice more on this exercise because uh, there's a lot of mistakes there. Remember, number one, mm -hmm. you already used the, the in number one, you use paragraph two. So it's not repeat paragraph two, right? Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. have to take a look at it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Laura. 
No, es que you had the, your microphone. Yeah, just we're checking. So uh, let's take a look. Um, before we continue, we have just, I know that in the reading, uh, some of the words, there were, there were several words that were maybe new or words that weren't clear. Um, are there any that you'd like to, to ask about? No, and remember, sometimes uh, even if the word is new, when you read, the context gives you an idea and you can say, oh, I don't know this word is new, but eh, I have an idea what it means. And that's okay also, because it's just like in Spanish. Sometimes you have new words and you're not sure what they mean, but you have an idea of what they're referring to. Okay, so that's excellent. That means we finished actually our unit three, which is great because remember this in this week, we have a midterm. So I'm gonna explain the midterm so that it's clear for everyone, okay? So here in our midterm, as we can see, we have several sections. We actually have five different sections. In section one, we have a listening part. And we see that there's actually two listening exercises. And we have four questions for listening part two, and we have four questions for listening part one. That means that you're going to listen and then answer the questions based on that information that you understand. That's part A, okay? Then in part B, it's rewriting sentences. What does that mean? That means that you're going to look at the letters, or the, sorry, look at the words that are there, and you're gonna write that sentence again. But this time when you write it, you're gonna have to write it using the passive sentence, okay? You're gonna use the passive. So as an example, we have the original sentence, Prince recorded the song Purple Rain. But when we have the passive voice, we focus on the object. So we start with the song Purple Rain, was recorded by Prince, okay? That's part two. So part two, rewrite the sentences using by in the passive voice, okay? Then in part three, it's really about reading and choosing which one is correct because you have several sentences and you need to choose which form is the correct way, okay? So you read it and you have, is it the simple past, the past continuous, is it the ing or the ed? This is the idea for is it with uh, the passive form, the participle, present participle, past participle, which which form is correct? So that's mainly the idea. You read and choose which word is the correct one or which phrase. Okay. And the next one is simply a matter of choosing the correct word. So it's about vocabulary. So you read the sentence and then you choose whatever is being described or the word that is necessary to complete it, okay? That's, that's where you have to think about. And then our last part of it is just a reading. And we're going to read it. And based on the information from the reading, we have four questions that we need to answer, okay? So we read it and choose the correct information um, based or all of the information is in the reading. So we don't have to know it or memorize it. We just need to compare it and check it. Okay. Are there any questions about any part of that midterm exam? The second teacher. Okay, let me go back. That way we make sure it's clear. Okay, in the second part, the second part, uh, part B, in rewriting the sentences, okay? This is where we use, we will receive a sentence like this, okay? Prince recorded the song Purple Rain, okay? Or, and then we have to put it in the passive sentence. So the passive sentence, if we remember, is we start with the object, in this case, the song Purple Rain, then we put the verb to be, and then the verb in past participle. Okay, and then we have it. So another example could be, my mother makes pupusas. And if I put in the passive, I say pupusas are made by my mother. That's what we're going to do in part B. We're gonna be taking the sentence that we are given and we need to change the focus and put it into the passive sentence. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Tanya? 
All right, then let's do it. So with our partners, we're going to complete it right now. We have five sections. We understand each section. So we probably won't finish all of the five sections because we only have 30 minutes, but we can advance and it's, it's necessary to complete for tomorrow. So today we can advance quite a bit. Oops. And I wasn't going to share, I was gonna make the groups, I chose the wrong one, okay. So give me just a second and I'll make these groups. All right, there we go. Hi, Jose. Jose, you okay with the microphone? All right, there you go. All right, Tanya, uh, I guess, uh-huh. Maybe it's a little difficult to talk to Jose, but he can he can put in the chat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know why you cannot hear the. Uh -huh. I can't stop it. Laura, the reason the reason that. <laughs> You can't hear it? Wait. Don't worry. I don't know how to stop. Go to the, it, it's in the next one. In the, in the top, uh -huh. in the little box, that's the audio. Ah, I... Where it says 3 point or 302, uh -huh. there's the audio. Oh, it's not this one. I, I, I think you opened the two of them. So close, close wait. the one on the top. Cause the one on the top says audio. Wait, wait, wait. There, uh huh. You see, you had that one open. Hi. I know. Don't worry, Laura. We can't hear. Don't only you hear it. <laughs> We need classes about technology. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happened, Laura? What happened? I, I see you. I see your mouth moving. I don't know. <laughs> hey, guy, I don't know. How, I didn't know how to stop the 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 the, the audio. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, the audio. Okay. Uh, how can I, what can I do to make her listen? Okay, when when you click share, when you uh -huh. click share screen, it's going to, on the bottom, there's going to be a little box that says, uh, compartir. share computer sound. Yeah, share computer sound. Uh, you, okay. you, need, you need to click share computer sound for the person to, okay. to hear the sound on the computer. Okay, okay, I think I got it. Uh, okay. where, where did she go? Uh, she she has problems with her internet, so. Ah, okay. But Let me see. yeah, try try with me. That way, I can tell you if okay. it works. Uh, 
y por qué no me da play. Okay, click in the little box with the arrow and it's going uh -huh. to open it's going to open the new window. But I'm not sharing igual. Yes, yes, you're sharing, you're sharing. Okay, try it. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. There you go. One. How was your trip to Egypt? Oh, it was incredible. I finally got to visit the pyramids. And what did you think? I learned so much. Like, did you know that they were uncovered by Napoleon? Before he visited the country, they were buried in sand. Really? Do they know who built them? Yes, of course. They were built by the Egyptians. And did you go inside a pyramid? No. Most of the pyramids are closed to tourists. You can't go in. But I took a lot of photos from the outside. Do you want to see? Two. Weren't you just on vacation in Africa? Well, actually, I was there for work. But I was able to take a couple of great trips that I'll never forget. Where did you go? I went to Victoria Falls on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia. The falls are amazing. I really enjoyed the trip. I'd love to go there. What about your other trip? I visited a huge stone wall called Great Zimbabwe. The area inside the wall is supposed to be big enough to hold a city with 20,000 people. It's the largest monument in Southern Africa. So, what happened to the city? No one really knows. I guess it's still a mystery. Three. Welcome back. So how was Easter Island? I've never been anywhere like it. It's unique. What's so special about it? Well, first of all, it's very remote. Chile and Tahiti are over 3,000 kilometers away. But it's known mainly for the giant statues. Oh, yeah. I've seen photos of them. They were built by Polynesians who arrived there nearly 2,500 years ago. It sounds like you really enjoyed it. I did. It was like an open-air museum with the statues along the coast, archaeological sites, volcanic craters, and some fantastic beaches. Four. What have you been doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. I've been living abroad. I was working in Laos for a while. Laos? I just read an article about Laos. I've always wanted to go there. It's a beautiful country, especially the city where I lived. It was built at the point where the Mekong River meets the Khan River. Yeah, I think I read about it. Isn't that the place with lots of temples? Yeah, and fortunately, I had time to visit many of them. My favorite temple is called Golden City Monastery. It was built on the riverbank nearly 500 years ago. They are very tricky questions, Ben. That's why it's with your partners. That's the idea for that's to help you speak and understand to make sure if if it's wrong, the two are wrong. <laughs> the, the two didn't understand, but <laughs> if it's if it's right, you're doing better. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so you make the decision with Marcela. Hi. Hi. Did you hear the audio? Yes. Okay. Uh, three and four.
Tanya, I think it's easier if you click in the little arrow and it opens the new window and then in the new window, you can hear it. So no, no, right in, in the, go down, there's a little arrow with a, in, inside the audio. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The pop out. Mm -hmm. And I think from there, you should be able to hear it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, put pause, Tanya. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, stop sharing your screen. Go ahead. Uh, stop. Stop sharing the screen. So, eh, deja de compartir la pantalla. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, cuando compartes la, la pantalla nuevamente, eh, vas a poner compartir pantalla y te va a salir un cuadrito. Y ahí en la parte inferior, normalmente en el lado izquierda que dice compartir sonido de esta compu o, o compartir sonido de la computadora. Le tiene que hacer clic en ese botón, si no, José no va a escuchar el audio, ni yo vamos a escuchar el audio, que vos sí vas a escuchar. Tiene que compartir el sonido de la compu para que lo escuchemos. Ok. Ok. Ok, try again. Mm -hmm. Ok. Here. Ya, ya lo tenés abierto. Ah, mm. I wasn't surprised that the last Lord of the Rings. What? What, what Jose? I did the exercise. Uh huh. Complete. With with Tanya. Alone. Uh huh. But the idea is with you and Tanya to talk for the answers, right? Okay. That's why I am here. Uh huh. So you can listen and then you, you and Tanya answer the questions. Um, Go ahead, Tanya. Uh, but play. It's okay. Rings movie won so many awards. It was fantastic. Did you like it, Joe? Sure. The acting was good and the special effects were great. It was an exciting movie, wasn't it? Yeah. But you know, Marion, I think Spider-Man was even better. What? You do? Why? Well, I've always been interested in superheroes like Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man. <laughs> Did you used to read a lot of comic books when you were a kid? Of course. I loved reading comics about superheroes who do good things with their special powers. How about you? The thing is that it says giant statues, not large. Is it the same? So it has some giant statues. That's what the audio says. Yes. Giant, large. Can be a synonym, but I don't know. I, I. Done. I didn't hear Chile. Uh, at the at the beginning. Let me see. I can put it again if you want. But I don't. I don't. I don't know if it says that it's far or is it close. And the, that's where I got confused. Mm. They were built by Polynesians who arrived there nearly 2,500 years ago. It sounds like you really enjoyed it. I did. It was like an open-air museum with the statues along the coast, archaeological sites, volcanic craters, and some fantastic beaches. Welcome back. So how was Easter Island? I've never been anywhere like it. It's unique. What's so special about it? Well, first of all, it's very remote. 
Chile and Tahiti are over 3,000 kilometers away. Very remote. Uh -huh. I don't get that. I don't know if it's talking about far away or nearby. <laughs> Yeah, but but in in this time I I can I can hear it. I can hear it. Yeah. Um, but it's known mainly for the giant statues. Oh yeah, I've seen photos of them. They were built by Polynesians who arrived there nearly two thousand five hundred years ago. It sounds like you really enjoyed it. I. It was like an open music cruise along the coast. I haven't seen you in a long time. I've been living abroad. I was working in Laos for a while. Laos? I just read an article about Laos. I've always wanted to go there. It's a beautiful country, especially the city where I lived. It was built at the point where the Mekong River meets the Khan River. Yeah, I think I read about it. Isn't that the place with lots of temples? Yeah, and fortunately, I had time to visit many of them. My favorite temple is called Golden City Monastery. It was years ago. These are very tricky questions. I don't know what to put it, located where two rivers meet. That's the first thing she said. And then she says, yes. she mentioned the golden city and that is 500 years. But in the second one, don't mention the monastery, right? And in the audio, it's mentioned. Yeah, the Okay. Bye. That's the second part. It's, it's the confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. That's why you have your partner. That way the two can talk and try to work it out. That's not the problem, teacher. The problem is when we need to put the upper side, the video side. That thing. Say again, Jose. The problem is that the, the what? Jose, otra vez. Es que, es que tu micrófono no se escucha bien. No han escuchado bien. Lo describir. O, o Tania, ¿escuchaste lo que dijo? Eh, sí, dice que para él no es problema, sino que solo apóstrofes y, o comas. Ah, apóstrofes y comas. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. okay. Eh, teacher, the, the first, uh -huh. eh, the movies, Star Wars. No, it's not. Did it say? No. No, no, no. Look at, look at the original sentence. George Lucas directed the Star Wars movie. Mm -hmm. But uh, the name George George Lucas. No, 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 no. Jose, what do you think? How do we do number one? I don't know. For Papi, yeah, uh, George Lucas. Well, uh, 
was directed by Albert Kuhn? Okay, no, then no. Because in the passive is not focused on the person, it's focused on the object. So never focus who did the activity. The important is the, the object and, the, and what happened to it. So for example, no, I cleaned the room. The important is the room was cleaned. This is the focus. So in the sentence, exactly. Yes, exactly. The Star Wars movies was directed by George Lucas. Ah, que pusiste? Was or were? Was. Ah, okay, okay. I, if I said were, the Star Wars movies were. Ah, entonces, entonces, teacher, when we know when it was and were in that kind of sentence or context, right? It, the because, plural, the plural, ah, movies. Because, because I knew where it both, right? Two. Twice, right? And was one. Uh huh. I, I put in what because it's one movie, right? But you say this. Because, because in there you see the movies, and the movies is plural. So ah, the movie. Uh huh, exactly. Ah, ah, that, okay. So the movies is going to be they. So for they, they were. Did you see? Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. So let's see. The Star Wars movies. Uh huh. One space were, were directed, directed by by George, George Lucas. Lucas, yes. Put check again. Let's see. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. You see, that's the correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so remember, if it's plural, if it has an S, then it's going to be were, were. If it's singular, then it's going to be was. Mm -hmm. Direct, direct, no, direct. Is not correct. No, because the movies is plural. The uh -huh. movies plural, so movies is they yeah. were directed exactly. So yeah. the Star Wars movies were directed, uh -huh. no Direct. was. Yeah. In the period, uh huh. Okay. Okay. And, and you can check to see, and you can. You can check and that way you can see that that is the the correct way. You see? Okay. Yes. So remember to be careful between the was and the were. If the object is plural, were. If it's singular, was. Okay. 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 All right. Tim Berners Lee developed the world. Okay, great. I, I see all of us are advancing and we didn't finish, but I didn't expect to finish because it's long. So uh, we're going to pause right there. We're going to continue tomorrow. Don't worry. We're going to make sure we can advance here in the class. If you want to practice in your house, it's good. It's also good. It's no problem. But we are going to practice also tomorrow and answer any questions because sometimes it's, it's little mistakes. For example, for singular or plural, or uh, like, like Jose said, sometimes it's, it's a comma or a period and you have correct, or like like for you today, Laura, you is correct, but ah, the apostrophe is sometimes a stupid thing. So don't worry, we continue again tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank All right. you. Thank you guys. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.